Hello and welcome. As we've gotten farther into 2022, the questions and rumors surrounding Hogwarts Legacy have continued to compound. So I want to take a look with you guys today at some of the things we've seen or heard about Hogwarts Legacy in the last couple of weeks since our last update. So today we have two tweets to cover and a news article and how all this together seems to be pointing towards a September release date for Hogwarts Legacy. As always, I will leave the links for everything in the description, but without further ado, let's talk about this first tweet. Now, our first tweet comes from Jason Keelar on January 26th. Jason is the Warner Media CEO, and just to give you some context, this tweet specifically comes from a set of tweets where he was talking about what Warner Brothers had done in 2021, what their goals were for 2022, and their strategies for that. You're more than welcome to check out the whole thread of tweets, but there's only one that we're really concerned with. The tweet reads as follows. This mission, this strategy, continues into 2022 with a sense of urgency. Launching HBO Max in more countries this quarter, the balance of the year of launching CNN+, Plus, and delivering a full slate of highly anticipated games. Now, while the other stuff is important, it's not what we're here for and it's not what we're focused on. What we are focused on is the highly anticipated game. Keelar put photos of Hogwarts Legacy and Gotham Knights, which are two of the biggest games Warner Brothers has set for 2022. It's also, I feel like, the two games that fans don't know as much about. And I think it's really important that Keelar chose to include these two games. Or should I say, look at what game was not included in this post. We don't see Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, which is a game that is reportedly having issues with development and will need until 2023 to get the result that Warner Brother is looking for. This tweet was a simple way to reassure fans that Hogwarts Legacy was still on track for 2022 without giving away much further detail at this point. Now our next thing to look at is a tweet from Account NGT, who we've covered on the channel before. But in his tweet, he recapped some news about Hogwarts Legacy that he shared over the past couple weeks. This includes that there will be a gameplay trailer shown either in February or March, that the game is aiming for a September release, officially 2022. The game will include multiplayer elements, the translation stage of game development has started, and English developer Sumo Digital has helped a lot in the development of the game. So let's break down some of this information. First and foremost, we have that we should see a gameplay trailer with skills and abilities in either February or March. Now, I know I talked about in previous videos why we could see a trailer in February, but I also said that it could also be early March or mid-March. And I think at this point in the month, I really believe this will be a March thing. Next part is Hogwarts Legacy is officially releasing in 2022 and looking at a September release. Now, if you've watched a couple of my videos, you've heard me say at least once, if not ten times, that I think it is going to have a fall 2022 release date. And this fits in with that. And if they're going to go with September, I would love to see them release it on September 1st. You know, they go back to Hogwarts Day every year. That'd be really cool. But I also understand if they would wait a little later in September to release it. I also believe we're going to find out more about the release date when we see the next trailer. So hopefully in March we'll know a little bit more about the release date and hopefully it'll at least give us a general timeline for it, if not a specific date. Now I feel like before we mention our third point on here, I need to say that he is not saying there will be multiplayer in the game, but there will be multiplayer aspects. So when we're talking about multiplayer aspects, Later on in the comments, account NGT responded to somebody saying it would be like a leaderboard system or a scoreboard system of some sort. Now, if this is a topic you'd like to see a full video, just let me know because I feel like there's a couple different ways we could see multiplayer aspects in the game while the game itself is only single player. 
And our last two points on this list are about the game's development. First, that the translation stage of the game has started, and that English developer Sumo Digital has helped a lot with the development of the game. Now, Sumo Digital announced on December the 9th of last year that they were working on the game. And other than that, we don't really know what aspects of the game they've worked on, but it does seem that their input has helped keep Hogwarts Legacy on track for its 2022 release date. As for the translation stages of the game, this is pretty typical with any large release game or any release game. Of course, multiple languages are going to be supported through play, and this is pretty normal. But if the translation stages have been started, that means the aspects of the game that are connected to language are either almost fully done or have quite a substantial amount of progress because you wouldn't start translating before you had the content you needed to translate, obviously. We have one more thing left to talk about. It's an article from the Rowling Library that was posted on February 4th. Now, just so you understand, the Rowling Library isn't associated with J.K. Rowling, Warner Brothers, or anything else official to the Wizarding World. They're just a group that publishes information about book releases and different stuff associated with written works for the Wizarding World franchise. Now, on February 4th, the Rowling Library Inside Editions would be publishing the art and the making of Hogwarts Legacy in September of 2022. They also released the ISB number for this book, and that is where they got the release date and other information from. Now, on February 9th, they did post an update to this article that included a similar listing under the same ISBN number being shown on... Amazon UK, Barnes & Noble, and other websites, but showing a December 6th release date. Now, I want to explain that just like with video games, a lot of times there can be a placeholder date to be put on books before we actually know their official publication date. So, just like with video games, this could very well be a placeholder date. Now, as always, I will leave a link to the full article in the description, and you can check out some of those listings and the article itself on your own time if you would like to. That's everything I have for you in the past couple weeks that we've gotten on Hogwarts Legacy news-wise. Thank you for watching this video. I know that we're going to start getting some more news about Hogwarts Legacy in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully a trailer, something like that. And then we'll have more official stuff to talk about. I'd love to hear in the comments your thought on the information from this video. And until next time, thanks for watching.